Hello friends, this video on life processes part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we ended our discussion on three important life processes that is nutrition, respiration and transportation and I hope that you have got a very clear idea about what are these life processes. So now we will start with the last life process of this lesson that is excretion. So let us see what is excretion. So as I said, during so many activities taking place inside the body, a lot of waste products are also formed as a result of these processes. Now the body does not want to accumulate these waste products in itself. So the body wants to get rid of them. And this process of waste removal is called excretion. So it is the process of removal of harmful metabolic wastes from an organism's body. So now we will see how is that excretory system developed in plants as well as in animals. Now different organisms adapt different ways to excrete wastes. There are some simple unicellular animals which excrete through diffusion across their body surface. They do not have any specialized organs for excretion. Whereas there are some multicellular advanced animals where we have a separate organ system with some specialized organs to perform this process of excretion. So let's look into detail the excretory system which is present in plants as well as human beings. So why do we need to excrete? What is the need for excretion? to maintain the correct ionic balance in the body because when the amount of waste materials or harmful materials increases inside the body it can adversely affect the ionic balance in the body it can also affect the amount of water in the body it is very much necessary that we maintain the correct amount of water in the body if the water level in the body increases too much or it decreases too much then that is not good Right? So the correct amount of water needs to be maintained. Toxic level rises in body leading to diseases. So when so many harmful substances stay in the body, what will happen? It will cause harm to the body. It can lead to several types of diseases. Immunity is also adversely affected. That means the immune system of the body, the ability of the body to fight against diseases. That immune system is also adversely affected if there are too many waste materials inside the body. So because of all these reasons, it is very important that proper excretion of the wastes is done. So let us look at the excretory system in plants. How do plants excrete the waste materials? Let us look at the process of photosynthesis. What happens in the process of photosynthesis? We see that carbon dioxide combines with water in presence of chlorophyll and light to form glucose plus water plus oxygen. Now this oxygen which is produced here, is it utilized for any other purpose? It is utilized for respiration. But when you do not consider the process of respiration, this oxygen is of no use as far as the process of photosynthesis is concerned. So it has to be given out. So oxygen is a waste product which is utilized during respiration. So as far as photosynthesis is concerned, the good product is glucose. Oxygen is of no use. So oxygen is a waste product as far as this process of photosynthesis is concerned. So how do we get rid of that oxygen? That oxygen is again utilized during respiration so that the accumulation of that oxygen does not take place inside the plants. Similarly, water is another waste product which is secreted here. So how do we get rid of that water? That water is excreted through transpiration. I talked about transpiration. It is nothing but the loss of water from the stomata on leaves in the form of water vapor. So that is how the water is also excreted. Now, not only this oxygen and water, plants also excrete in the form of resins, gums, alkaloids like quinine, quinine which is often, see all these materials are useful to us. These resins are glue like substances. So these are useful to us which are prepared, used for making gums and all those things. Also this quinine which is used for medicinal purposes, they are useful for us. But what do these plants do? They excrete or they keep their waste materials in the, such substances because they know that they will get rid of these substances. These substances will get out of the plant's body in some time. So that is how they can get rid of the wastes. 
plants also excrete through leaves or bark which fall off later like in deciduous plants which uh, shed their leaves in during the shedding season what do they do they keep their waste materials on the leaves because they know that the leaves are going to get shaded so when the leaves shed off the materials or the waste products are also shaded off with the leaves so that is how the plants also get off their waste product so these are some of the ways by which plants excrete the waste materials right thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again